Hi. I am Danny Cristalis, and this is Letters to the Editor, where you send your letters to me, the editor. Now, some of those letters are good, some of those letters are bad, and I answer to any letter, it doesn't matter, so I'm gonna go ahead and pick three letters right off the bat, read them to you, and see what my commentary provides. This comes from Mr. Solomon Namala, the president of CCFF. It says, on behalf of CCFF, I would like to thank Talon Marks and Sebastian Echeverry for the fine coverage of the October 14th CCSF accreditation event in your newspaper. I realized the event was filmed and Sebastian had also interviewed the panelists after the event. Can you please post this online for those campus community members who could not attend? Thanks much. Well, thank you for your letter, Mr. Namala. Uh, we did have a story on the accreditation event, which happened obviously a month ago. Um, we had that on the paper, I believe, in one of our editions. Um, and we did take video of the event. Now, um, we use snippets of video for different things. And um, if some of you guys are familiar, we use a show called The News Roundup. And we get a bunch of film from different events and put them inside of those. Um, we have not implemented a separate video for the accreditation event. Um, I believe we have used it for a news roundup, but I think it's a really good idea to have like raw footage of that event. Um, so your words do not fall on deaf ears, I guess if that would be the proper way to say it through a letter. Um, but I believe we still have the footage and we'll publish it as soon as we can. So uh, just thanks for that. So. Our next one comes from Christian, and it says, I was reading Talon Marks for October 15, 2014, and I couldn't help but notice the hateful article the editor-in-chief posted. One particular paragraph that caught my attention, and which I feel shouldn't be on the paper, was, and I quote, I cannot tell you the contempt I feel for that, my, for that man right then and there. I cannot convey to you the temptation I get each time this happens to me to just stick out an elbow and pop the guy right on the chin. This article is so wrong in so many ways. He goes further to compare skateboarders to murderers. I use a skateboard as a means of transport and to support a greener campus. Well, Christian, I'm sorry to hear that, and I'm sorry that I apparently offended you. Um, I'm also sorry to hear that you cannot understand the tone of the article. I'm sorry that you feel that I felt the need to compare skateboards to murders. Um, if I really felt that way, I think you should just arrest me on the spot, because I'm clearly a sociopath. Um, but I was joking. The whole article was a rant, clearly. I, if I meant everything I said on it, then, God, what a terrible person I am. I'm like a skateboard Hitler person or something like that. So, <clears throat> the whole article was a rant. Skateboards are not as bad as I painted them to be. If you can ride them, just go ahead and ride them. Um, I'm glad that you do it for green purposes. That's really cool. Uh, so go ahead and keep doing it, but you're not a murderer. And um, I hope I've comforted you. Moving on. <clears throat> this is from Fort Worth, wherever that is. Texas. Fort Worth, Texas, apparently. <clears throat> and this says, and this is going to be a doozy. I was wanting to inform you about an interesting scientific discovery that has not happened yet. So that clearly caught my attention. Uh, but let's move forward. And this discovery may support that intelligence programmed the universe and is very simple to understand. So it's apparently very simple to understand, yet it has not happened yet. And then he goes on to say something that's completely not simple, which says, Once the plant eaters go away, that eat the branches of the trees, then the long thorns called spines like on the mesquite tree become straight from their original design and lose their side barbs and all their curvature and design, but in some cases the spines may also be finding a center point in the pattern according to the environment around it. So, what was the driving force in the evolution that evolved this complex program that tells the spines and thorns to do this to begin with, which means that this could support that this program had to have been following instructions to evolve, which may support that these instructions may be in what certain atoms are made of. The botanists will have to create a website to email pictures to from the islands, <laughs> to from the islands, 
Where are they coming from? To or from? Who knows? Maybe both. It's a simple yet hasn't happened yet philosophy. To be compared to their inland relatives like cactus plants or the mesquite tree in Hawaii, etc. Then he put four dots for some reason. I'm just hand typing this, oh, apparently. And if you want a copy of the basic idea, then write back. Well, sir, if Fort Worth is really your name, you are apparently a completely lost individual. I would like to hear more about your theory, please. Please write back to me and tell me about this scientific philosophy, this discovery that hasn't happened yet, but is very simple to understand. And tell me about these plant eaters and their mesquites and these, um, oh, what'd you say, and compare them to the environment. Yes, yes, I'm very thrilled and uh, very interested on this. So please write back. Please do. Well, that concludes your letters to the editor. I have obviously been the editor, Danny Cristalis. Please write to me, you know, bash me, give me some compliments, give me some random crap like I just read right now, and I'll respond. I'll be nice, I'll be sarcastic, but you'll always know that I'm honest. Signing off, Godspeed.